Now joining me is uh, Mark Fox. He's the Warning Coordination a Meteorologist to the National Weather Service. Very busy a uh, couple of days here. In fact, we owe your office uh, a debt of gratitude with the work that, uh, that you folks that. have done here uh, the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. In fact, the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, but what a day yesterday. I mean, it was just incredible how this all played out. Absolutely amazing. You had stuff like this. I mean, which would be you know wonderful out in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately, it dropped a lot of hail across some uh, portions of Dublin and Erath County. Also had uh, some very uh, big hail, lots of wind, multiple tornadoes as well. And then the thing got into Rio Vista and started really spinning and didn't move very much. Yeah, we've got some incredible video that our storm chaser uh, Kevin Saunders captured uh, late last night. Here it is. And the only way you were going to see this tornado last night, yep. uh, Mark, was being backlit by this uh, lightning here. And we've got a still shot right there. There you can actually see the uh, the cone tornado. Uh, that, again, was near uh, Raya Vista, which, which is, by the way, how the, how the, the locals pronounce it, uh, Raya Vista. That's how the locals say it. Any comments on, on uh, what we were seeing here last night? This is one of those things. A couple of times during the evening, we had reports of very large, large circulation, mile wide or so. And then we started getting pictures like this, which are absolutely great pictures of a very small funnel or condensation funnel. So the big circulation was large, 1.5 miles or so, but the individual tornadoes were actually very small bits and pieces of damage, but a very large circulation. So it was a, it's a fascinating day, fascinating case, but uh, I'm glad nobody got hurt, nobody got injured. Yeah, and I think we've also got a, a radar loop that plays out just exactly right. how the day unfolded. We started out with these massive supercell thunderstorms out in Comanche County and Erath County, like the one you're yeah. seeing here. Uh, and then we transformed uh, into those uh, glacially slow moving <laughs> supercells late last evening in Johnson County. And then uh, followed that up, of course, with that comma head with the straight line winds. Of course, bottom line is uh, this is the damage that we saw here. You were out surveying the damage. Right. Anything interesting that you saw out there? A couple of very interesting things. Uh, our team, Dennis, Amanda, Lamont and I were out there uh, giving the points back to the office during all this. The big circulation almost made a full loop. Uh, if you take a look at the points where it started, where it began, only a half a mile or so, but the whole thing kind of went around on a horseshoe. And at the same time that happened, it looks like there was another uh, anti-cyclonic, anti so clockwise rotation going on the back side, very small, got a little bit of damage on the east side of Johnson County as well. So very interesting day. <laughs> This will be something that will probably be studied for quite some time. Yep. Uh, eight confirmed eight tornadoes. Eight confirmed so far, yeah. Four near Raya Vista, mm -hmm. uh, all EF zeros, right. and then four others that were EF zeros. Do you think that number will go up at all? I think the numbers will go up. I don't think the, uh, the ratings are going to go up. So the EF zeros, we may end up with one or two more tornadoes. Uh, we'll check that out tomorrow, but uh, amazing day. Nothing but EF zeros, which is uh, the way we want them. No injuries, no loss of life. And uh, I guess last bit, the, the, the flooding that we saw from these storms yeah. are just incredible with the slow movement through Johnson County. Unofficial reports of uh, over seven inches of rain here. And uh, it's a good thing we're going to be trying out uh, later this week. Yeah, absolutely. Mark, thank you so Thanks much lot, for all the work you do and for coming in tonight and spending some time with absolutely. us.